Hey Gina, yeah, it can be brutal, especially if you know there's an accident along the I-10. I think drivers at this point know if there's something in the way to steer away, but that's what this project is trying to address. It's trying to make it efficient and improve traffic. But you can see here where we're standing, now that the sun is up this morning, not only how loud it is, but how consistent traffic can be, because this is the one of the most traveled corridors in the state, and that includes the Gila River Bridges, which is just a few miles south from us. So take a look at this AZ drone video because it really shows you how busy it can be even during the midday hours. This drone shot was taken Friday at noon, and this bridge, along with the rest of the 26 miles from Chandler to Casa Grande, only has two lanes, and both are known for causing bottleneck traffic. So starting next month, ADOT will expand the existing two lanes in each direction to three lanes with wider shoulders. It will continue being a working bridge while crews work on it. And this corridor is where truck drivers and other folks travel back and forth to Tucson. But it is also where members of the Gila River Indian community commute in and out of the valley. I spoke to U.S. Representative Greg Stanton, who is also a member of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. And he said him and Governor Stephen Rowe Lewis of the Gila River Indian community inspected this bridge a few years ago and says it came down to improving safety for his community. It's gotten so much wear and tear over the years. And if you go in and inspect it underneath, you could see it was time for a, a replacement. For him, this is the day-to-day -day road that the people living on the Gila River community use for basic travel. He wanted to make it as safe as possible. We did reach out to Governor Lewis to hear exactly how crucial this bridge replacement project is going to be for his community. We did not get a response, but Governor Lewis has been very vocal about how much this I-10 expansion is needed and how happy he is to work with other lawmakers uh, to make this happen. But the bridge itself is 1,400 feet long. They're saying it's going to take a year to a year and a half to complete, and then they're going to start on the I-10 interstate expansion. But for the rest of that $1 billion project. The interstate itself is not going to be completed until 2028. Back to you.